Oh, this is going to be a good year. I know. I'm so excited about 2012. Oh, everybody's been afraid. All the dumbass Christians. The end of the world. No, it's the beginning. beginning. We know that, don't we? Yes. This is the beginning of people being more conscious and aware of their bodies and their earth. Feeling and, connected to both. Yes, and connecting both. Mm -hmm. that, that we need both our and Mother Earth to be taken care of. I'm feeling very positive. It's interesting. I've never, um, every New Year's, you know, there's always that one thing you want to do to clean up your life, you know. For oh, me, I've, got, it was I've, like, got, I've got two. Or no more bad boys, or it was like, focus on working out more and, and stop eating out all the time. And this year, I just feel very grounded, and I feel, um, I was going to call it happy, but I don't think it's happy. I feel joy. And so, no matter what happens in my life, I, I can receive it well, fix something Beautiful. if it's wrong, or celebrate something if it's right. Beautiful. And move forward. And it's taken me 38 years to get here. I don't okay. remember ever feeling like this ever before. I, I, I can't imagine having a better business partner with that kind of an attitude. That's how I feel. I feel like the whole world's opening up and there's nothing to fear. Okay, my turn. <laughs> After I saw the body sex group film, when and she I, was very shocked seeing the image of herself. Oh, come on. Nobody knows how awful they look when they're old until you see it through a camera lens. Yeah. So what I realize is that I was letting go of a lot of things because old age gives you permission to stop, to stop working out, to stop taking care of your body. After all, you're settling down, you're settling in, you've done your major life's work. I was buying a lot of crap about aging. And I thought, mm -hmm. no, no, I'm no. And I'm very good with New Year's resolutions. I usually keep Yeah, them. no, you are. I am. A very, yeah. So I now have an exercise bike sitting over there in I the corner. I just programmed it. It's ready to go. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> and I am going to pay more attention to a lot of the things that I that I recommend everybody else do, I'm going to start masturbating more. I may abandon partner sex altogether because it takes up too much time. I'm almost there, but not. <laughs> well, no, no, no. You, you, you're, you have a lover. So the point being is that what how the culture treats aging is that you start settling down, settling for less. Toning, expecting less. Expecting less. So no. At 83, I am going to be in the best condition, physical condition, condition that I've ever been in. Because you can expect more. Totally. Because I just feel like 2012, we're just mopping up the gravy. This is the good stuff. And there's so many wonderful things going on. I don't want to miss it. It's just I'm loving life more than I have ever loved it, and, I'm, and I am a passionate lover of life. But I think this phase that we're in, that I'm in with you. Yeah, together. With this, yeah, with with this so website. Exciting, yeah. Thank you, all of our followers. Thank you, all of all the people that love us. Thank you for telling us that you submitting love us. your questions. Oh, you were saying the other day that your essay was affected awakening a clitoris. She did a new essay, and you're like, you know, as an educator, it's so rewarding to to have like this epiphany that you realize that people keep on asking the same question. You know, because you you missed something before that reading so many questions, twenty, thirty, forty, a hundred yes, of them. Yes. It clicks and you get it. I loved when I said to my friend Bill Mitchell, I said, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm spending all this time answering all these questions and I'm going on and on and on. And he said, Betty, it's the most important work you Absolutely. can do. Absolutely. He said, that's what Margaret Mead did in order for her to understand a culture. So I'm understanding the youth of America in terms of their lack of sex education and information. And I love how your questions shape our content. And it's and really an interactive dance that yes, we're doing. And how Dodson and Ross are answering all of your needs. Mm -hmm. So stay with us for the new year. Hey, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> we got champagne and everything. Special. <laughs> Happy New Year to DNR. Yes. 2012 is our year. Here we come. Ooh. Oh, and now we can finish the bottle. It's open, you have to. <laughs>